Hey y'all, so I'm gonna be reacting to my first videos on social media, on TikTok. Let me give you a little backstory on how I got into posting videos before we get into this. So I started posting videos on TikTok in October of last year. So it's been just a little over, I think maybe a year and a half now. I started on TikTok first because I wanted to show my progress in the videos. I'm gonna show you guys like my first viral video and how it took off from there. But some of these videos, they're bad. And not even in the sense like, oh, you just weren't confident or oh, the video quality's bad. Like, no, they're bad. The background looks absolutely disgusting. I don't know what I was thinking. The voiceover, I was trying so hard to not sound like myself because I didn't want to be judged on the internet yet. So this is the first video. It's a dog named Elmo. Let's get into this. This is Elmo. He is a Shih Tzu Maltese mix. And today we're doing a five on his body and a one on his head. In this clip, you can see my coworker giving me the dirtiest look because she hates me. First of all, these comments, I need to delete these videos. People are saying the more you scroll down on his page, the more life got sucked out of him. It's so true. Oh my God. That's so embarrassing. That was so bad. I was like so lispy and there was no personality. It was so bland and dry. It was my first video, but whatever. Okay, so this is my most viral video. 17th video that I've ever posted, and it wasn't like a voiceover, it was just like a trending audio that was happening at the time. I'm so happy! I'm so sad! Something that's actually funny about this is, obviously that's not my hand. I don't have a ring on my finger, and I don't have feminine hands, unless I do, but I don't think I do. What do you guys think? I don't think so. Coworker filmed this video for me and I just edited the clips. She actually took the clips so then I could have it to show the client. And then I just kind of put it together with the audio to make this video. Um, so it has 2.3 million views. It was on, in 2021, 102121. So like, yeah, like a year in ish ago. I'm gonna go to my next viral video, one that was 2.3 million, and it's actually the same dog that went viral for, with the trending audio I just showed you, so let's watch that one. This is Frankie, and he's a golden doodle. Frankie's getting a seven on his body because as you might be able to tell, it is extremely matted. Frankie does the stanky leg, he's all done. Y'all, I thought I slayed that haircut too. When I posted this, I was like, slay. Slayed the house down, mama. Like, I literally was like, so good. And he did have matting on his face too, so like, there wasn't a lot I could do, but damn. <laughs> Some of these haircuts, I'm realizing that like, I've come farther than I was before. This was my next viral video. I had like, 30 videos before that, that kind of were just staying at like 20K-ish views. So this was my next one. I did get a ring light. How I turned this sweet boy into this cute puppy. This is Luigi, and today he's only getting a bath. Bye, Luigi. When this dog came in, I think I've had like four or five other people bring their dog in from TikTok. And it's crazy because looking back on it, I'm like, oh my god, like people love my video so much. They're bringing in their dogs. And I'm like, looking at it now, why would someone bring their dog to me? Like personally, just feel like my videos weren't very entertaining. So yeah, I don't know. God, but you can tell I was starting to open up a little bit more with these videos. And if you couldn't tell also that was during like Christmas time. So like I've been posting for like two ish months now. So I've been getting to warm up a little bit and understand the flow of TikTok. I was still posting every single day though. That was my goal is to make sure I've been posting every single day. Now at this point, my videos have been kind of staying in like the 60 to 70,000 range. This could be over time, like people scroll back and look at my videos. This is like the first week of when I moved to a different location and the setup was different. 
This is probably one of the strangest dogs I've ever groomed. His name is Whiskey, and I won't question his parents' drinking habits. Whiskey was super- I started doing like the, Bye Logan voice in my videos. I, I'm gonna try and find when it started. I'm still so monotone. The background is absolutely sh I don't know what- <gasps> I don't know, guys. Why were people watching my videos? Oh god, some of these haircuts are so bad. Oh, my posture is so bad. Oh my god, okay, this is my first video that hit over 3 million views. Today, I'm washing my wiener, and this is Hercules, and Hercules is a dachshund. Okay, so there's a little bit more personality in the videos. The audio is still dog caca, but you know, we're, we're making some progress. The background looks better. I put up a little sign that said, like the video, the infamous like the video sign. I think this is the most viral video. I had at this point. It has 7.7 .7 million. I still didn't say the bye voice. It Nothing better than getting soaking wet at your job. Okay, that was a little bit dramatic, but I'm dramatic. Oh my god, why did I look like that? Y'all, <laughs> what is wrong with me? I think it was this video. Puppies can be difficult sometimes. This is Arlo, and he is a Bernadoodle, and of course, he is just a puppy. Bye, Arlo! Yes, it started with this video. It must have started with this video. So, this is Arlo. He was a TikTok client, obviously, and at this point, I was trying to get my people to stay to the end of the video and just, like, listen to the full thing, and so I started saying, like, the bye, like, faster. I started saying it in weird voices, and then this video, I started, like, someone commented, like, by Arlo with like a little demon emoji and after this that's when it <laughs> it started and took off from there so that video has 5.5 million views and then I think this this was like a really good time for me because it went like 5.5 1.2 2.2 8.2 and like dang these videos they were they were doing really well very first mega viral video was with Loki. It has 26 million views and my nails were painted in that video and the amount of hate I got for my nails being painted, ridiculous. Let me show you guys how I worked with Loki to get him to behave like this. He literally went from trying to bite my finger to balancing on it. Hi Loki! Oh, these videos are actually painting me. Like, why do I look like an absolute mess? My nails, it's not like they were ugly, but looking back at it now, I just look so bad, like... Okay, so here I think my grooms were getting better. There was still a few things I had to learn. Like, I was kind of making the faces, like, droopy. Um, and I wanted to make them, like, smile. So, yeah. I think my faces got better. I mean, I'm still working on it, obviously. Some of these faces, I literally was like, Slade. Like, I literally was like, this is the best haircut this dog's ever gonna get. And it was not all that. I mean, it was fine. It was passable. But, you know. So let's go to my most recent viral video. So I think I definitely have gotten better with my grooming. There's so much I need to learn with it. It kind of makes it hard because when people bring in their dogs on like an eight week schedule, two months, like all the hair is grown out. So I have to redo the dog's blueprint on its face, if that makes sense. Like imagine like a circle, right? And then in two months, the hair grows everywhere, 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 and it's not a circle anymore. Now you have to redo that circle and cut off all that excess hair. However, if you have people that come on like a four week schedule per se, that shape is still there and it's just a circle with little things sticking out. So then that way we can really focus on growing the hair that needs to grow in and making the, the shape that we want on the face the best we possibly can. I've been only doing this for a year and a half and I really think that in the next year, I'm gonna look back on this and be like, Wow, my videos were so bad, and I know I'm right. I know that's gonna happen. Stick along with me. I'm trying to produce the best content that I possibly can and really learn as much as I can while I do these dogs. 
It can be hard sometimes because you can't expect perfection from yourself 24 seven. And that's something that I try to do. And it's hard because I then see these dogs where I, I tried my best, I didn't get the look I wanted, and it could be for so many different reasons, but I still post it because I want to show my progress and show that you can't expect to get a perfect haircut every single time because maybe the dog's bad, maybe the dog doesn't have a good hair texture, maybe the dog doesn't come in enough, maybe the dog has ear infections and the face is greasy. Unrealistic to expect perfection, you can always want to do better, but it's as soon as you stop where you're not going to do better. If every single haircut, you want to do something different, you want to learn something, you want to do the ears better than you did on the last dog, then you have to do that because if you just put the dog on the floor and you say, oh, I'll, I'll do better on the next dog, are you going to do better on the next dog? So I'm going to show you guys the most recent video I did. I thought this dog was pregnant when she first came in, but turns out she has a giant tumor in her stomach. This is Coco, and she's a Yorkie, and she actually gets groomed pretty often, but her parents just like to keep her really short. I do feel bad for Coco, I'm not a vet, but I feel like it's making it harder for her to breathe. So when she's in the tub and on the table, I let her lay down and relax as much as she possibly can, and I also make sure that the leash is around her arm and not putting any pressure around her neck. Throughout her groom, I did think I saw her tongue turn a very faint purple color, and even if I'm wrong, I gave her break so then she can calm down. So dogs' tongues can change color for many different reasons. I think in Coco's case, she was stressed out so she was breathing heavier, and because of the mass, it was making it harder for her to take those breaths and have good airflow. Thankfully, she does get a super short and easy haircut so she's not on my table for so long. It just makes me sad because you can tell it's affecting Coco, and I just want this large football-shaped dog to be okay. But she is all ready to go home. Bye, Coco! And I'm really happy that you guys like my video, so thank you guys so much for watching and just supporting me in general. Bye, everybody!